Greetings Curious Viewers, Tool Tips with Tommy here and uh, we're going to talk about some power tool battery platforms. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out there, a lot of people misquoting voltages and things like that. Not misquoting, but just, you know, throwing numbers out there and it's confusing some people. Not uh, everybody, but some people. So we're going to talk about it. These are kind of the major voltages. So you have 10.8 and 12 volt. Those are both the same. So if anything that says it's 10.8, it can be called a 12 volt and vice versa. You also have the 18, 20 volt platform, which is probably the most common, uh, 36 and 40, which Makita's coming out with a 40 volt here any day. If it, well, already out, I think. Um, Bosch has a 36 volt system, which is the same. And then you have the 54 or 60 volt, which that's your DeWalt 60 volt, flex volt, that's the 60 volt. Uh, Theoretically, it's actually only 54 volts. When we do the math, you'll see. And then some outdoor lawn equipment stuff. Some of the stuff I have, 72 is called 80 volt, but it's also 72 volts. So the way it works is all the cells, the lithium ion cells. So these guys right here that are inside the batteries, they're all just 3.6 volts. So when you do the math, your 10.8 or 12 volt tools, there's three cells times 3.6 equals 10.8 volts. So probably learn that in the fourth grade, depending, I don't know, I can't say for sure. Your 18 volt, your slim pack batteries are gonna have five cells times 3.6, 18 volts, but they call them 20 volt, but they're all just 18 volts. Nothing surprising there. Uh, your 36, 40 volt tools, they have 10 of the 3.6 volts, which equals 36 volts but they can call them 40 volts, just like the, you can call it 18 volt to 20 volt for reasons I won't get into. <clears throat> DeWalt has all of their 60 volt batteries or 54 volt batteries all have 15 cells times 3.6 is 54. And then your, the green works that I have here are um, 72 slash 80 volts. So there's uh, 20 cells in a small battery times 3.6 is 72 volts. So the math is really simple people 10.8 18 36 54 and 72. That's it. Those are the those are the ones you get. That's it. So uh, it should be no surprise to anybody out there um, We're just you know, let's go with it here folks. So simple simple math. So uh, The way I usually show people or talk to people about it is here, I'm gonna zoom back a little bit here so you can see all the tools, all the batteries. So these are your lithium ion cells that I have here, right? These are four of them right here. These are all 3.6 volts, all four of these here. Your old, this is the old cell phone battery from the before times when you could take your batteries out of your cell phones, right? You see on there, 3.7 volts, 3.6, 3.7 volts. These are all 3.6 volts. But the analogy I usually use is, we'll go back even further when we used to use alkaline batteries. So these are one and a half volts, right? Triple A's. These double double A's, one and a half volts. The C cell, which I don't have out here, one and a half volts. And then the D cell, right? One and a half volts. The only difference between these is size. This, has, this is a bigger gas tank. Same voltage, bigger gas tank. So um, when you put them in series, so when you put the positive to the negative, it adds, so one and a half plus one and a half is three volts. So now this is three volts, same capacity, just three volts. So I doubled the voltage, got the same capacity. Same with these guys right here. So you put these in a flashlight, you know, back to back like that, you're, this is a three volt, right? Same capacity. Now, if you put them in parallel, so you put the negative to the negative, positive to the positive, now it's only gonna be one and a half volts, but now you've doubled the gas tank. So more capacity, same voltage. And that's all you do in these, uh, in, in, in your lithium ion or in your battery packs, your power tool battery packs, they do the same thing. So I'm going to use this Bosch as an example here. So we have a two amp hour, two, uh, two amp hour battery here. That's got five of these cells in it. So one, two, three, four, five. There's five of these little 18650 cells in this battery pack, right? And it gives you two amp hours. This is that same battery, but twice the size. So this is the slim pack, this is the fat pack. This one, we're gonna pull it apart and you'll see, for demonstration purposes only, don't try this at home because this is a high power and you could shock yourself, 10 cells, right? 
two, four, six, eight. And if this was in there, that would be 10. Now these are series, series, and then those two series are paralleled. So you have 18 volts, 18 volts, and then those are paralleled to double the capacity. So it's still just an 18 volt battery, but it's what they call a fat pack. So double the, double the capacity. So you'll see here, four amp hour, right? Four amp hour compared to two amp hour. So really simple. And then they've taken that now a, a step further. So now let's talk about new lithium ion cells. So this is, this was the original. This is the one that um, Tesla put in all their Tesla cars uh, five years ago when they started making cars. They put these 18650s, which means 18 millimeters by 65 millimeters, right? Um, I don't know, there's like 7,000 of these, maybe 10,000 of these in each one of those old model P, P series Tesla cars, right? That was the first one. And then they came out with the newer one. So this is the cell that's in these older style Bosch batteries right there, or it's on the ground. This is the new one. This is the 21700. So this is 21 diameter by 70, 71. Yeah, 21700. So 21 by 70 uh, high. And then this is one that I haven't seen this one go into any power tool batteries yet, but this is one that I had laying around just to kind of drive that point home. This is the 26650. So this is 26 diameter, 65 tall. And you'll see that's the same height as the 18650. So those are both 65 high, 65 millimeters high. So um, haven't seen those, the, the 26650 yet. Maybe power tool manufacturers will start making batteries with those. Uh, making battery packs with those cells in it. I don't know. But this is the new one that everyone's using, the 21700. This is the one that most of the manufacturers have gone to in their high-capacity batteries. So we'll do that same analogy that we did with the Slim Pack Fat Pack, right? So Bosch, that's the eight, the 4-amp-hour battery now, and that's the 8-amp-hour battery. So you'll see that this has 5 21700 cells in it. This has 10 21700 cells in it. So if we go back up to our list right here, amp-hours, we'll talk we'll, talk about amp hours a little bit so the 10.8 tools I've seen the amp hours go from one and a half up to six so one and a half amp hour six amp hour so you'll see this only has three cells one two three and this has six cells one two three four five six so slim pack fat pack or low capacity high capacity same with the skill three cells one two three six cells one two three four five six so slim and fat, same 12 volts, just low capacity and high capacity. So essentially bigger gas tank. The high capacity batteries do give you more power um, or better performance, actually, I should say. Um, power is going to be the same, but the performance, you'll notice a better performance. So power tools are all about resistance, uh, dealing with resistance that uh, that you get from, you know, when you saw into a piece of wood, that saw blade hits the wood and that wood creates resistance to the motor. Um, the higher capacity batteries are going to respond to and recover from that resistance much faster. So you're going to you're going to feel more performance. It's still going to be the same voltage, same 18 volt tool or 12 volt tool or 36 volt tool, whatever you want to call it. But that performance is going to be better and it's going to be noticeable in your hand. So and you'll see all the manufacturers do it. Here's the <clears throat> Bosch has had 36 volt tools around a long time. This is the two amp hour uh, Bosch cell right here or battery pack. Right, so there's 20 cells in here. In fact, the Makita coming out with the 40 volt tool, you're never gonna see a five cell 40 volt tool. You won't see it. All the 40 volt tools are gonna be fat packs because you have to have 10 cells at least to get that 40 volts, right? You have to. There's no way you can get it without 10 cells. That's the only way to do it is 10 cells. So um, back to amp hours and, and cell capacity. So 18 volt, I've seen one and a half up to 12 amp hours. So this is the eight amp hour battery. I don't have any of the 12 amp hour batteries, but you will soon see 15 cells. So this has 10, you'll see another one that has basically, it's going to be, it'll be this big. So it'll have 15 cells in it. So huge battery packed with lots of capacity. Um, DeWalt already has it with their 60 volt because you can't get a 60 volt without having at least 15 cells. So every one of the 60 volt tools is huge, 15 cells, right? So it's that 10 plus five more, 15. And then, I mean, this is what 20 cells look like so right here. And this is what 40 cells look like right here. Huge battery packs, but able to run 
you know, high capacity or high, high draw tools, surf saws, table saws, blowers, lawn mowers, things like that. You need those high capacity. So hopefully this will help, you know, when you go in series, you're increasing voltage. When you go in parallel, you're increasing capacity. Um, so that's all. Good luck. Have a good day. Later.